right, here it is. This is probably the only Twilight crit I'll race all year, now that I think about it. It might have been the only one that actually went on, because hasn't racing been cancelled since, like, March? There's, like, a, a brief little opening of stuff, and then there's, like, no. Well, this race went ahead, um, whether or not the decision to do so was, you know, uh, politically motivated. Not by myself, but of course the promoter. Uh, but, you know, I'm happy it happened, and I'm, you know, I, I feel no guilt that I went. Um, I get to see my dad, which is, you know, pretty sick. That's always, uh, always a plus. Okay, yeah, so let's actually get back to this race. Um, so it's a four-corner crit in... Uh, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Um, the course is extremely flat. Uh, the only elevation are these little train tracks. Brap, they hit right there. Um, you know, everything else is just fucking dead flat. Um, which is great. I love that because anything over 1%, my heart rate gets above 190. So um, it's a perfect course for me. You know, I gotta win. Uh, it's, it's all I'm, that's all I'm here to do is win. Uh, blinders on, uh, you know, with everything else that's going on. Um, anyway, um, you know, there's a neutral start first lap. Um, you know, this is fucking ridiculous when you think about it. Is like this is the only race that's happened in a while uh, with a decent amount of money, five thousand dollars behind it, um, and it's happening in twilight. So it's literally you're throwing like people who have not raced a twilight crit in probably a year, and they're like, hey go chase all this money and um yeah that's so it's, it's just like there's bound to be chaos um that's for sure um of course it's pretty well lit um boom you have a hincapi rider here um there's like first internet bank um project echelon a couple other like strong riders here some of the more stronger ones backed out because they think you know they got pressure from the internet they probably actually didn't really care about what was going on like they just like didn't want to get you know hated on um so that's why i think a lot of people didn't go um but i think still there's like 75 people or so that came so pretty solid turnout um, anyway, my whole tactic in the beginning was just stay at the front. There I am, first glimpse of me. You'll get a lot of this. Um, and I love it. Um, but yeah, it was pretty apparent how bad people's handling skills were. Or at least, like, you know, they were just pretty rusty. So I was like, yo, Stefan, we gotta stay up here the whole time. Which usually you don't like to get to the front, like, super early in these crits. Um, you know, it's usually the last... 10 laps or so, I mean, I love to throw haymakers and then, like, take myself out of the race all the time. Um, but, you know, this one, I'm like, yeah, we gotta be up front. So already, things kind of start stretching, you know, the elastic is just, we, because we'll do a lap at, like, you know, 32 miles an hour, which is pretty quick, like, even if you're behind somebody, so, you know, just gotta stay up there, because if you get in that fucking behind all those people, dude. I mean, I just was like, hearing crashes left and right. Um, I think we captured one of them, too. Hold on. <sighs> Super good. Um, so, Stefan's a madman. He's, like, constantly going off the front um, just to kind of break this up. Because, you know, he can sprint out of a break and do pretty well. Um, so that's what he's doing right here. By the way, the power numbers are mine on the bottom. I should have mentioned that earlier. But uh, the Hincapi rider here, he meets up with them. There's a Project Echelon rider as well. So all like the, the strong riders, you know, were pretty much represented in this move that's forming right now, uh, which I think was like maybe like 15 minutes in. Um, Something like that, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, so, you know, we still had like, it was 40, you know, 50 laps. Uh, so that's, you know, puts us about an hour and 15 minutes or so. 75 minute crit, which is good. I mean, I wouldn't come here for a 50 minute crit. I mean, actually would have, you know, I would have came here for a five minute crit, you know. It's, it's you know, all fun for me. Um, but so now, if you look at the power numbers, I'm actually making the bridge right now um, up to this because I know like we can hold even you know even if it doesn't go, it's like I'd rather just be there. So you can see me catching on right now. So that's about four riders. Um, you know we're still not in the clear because you can see like kind of stragglers trying to jump across. Um, but you know I made it, so we're good. 
I have like three teammates in this race too. Here's the other one, Zach Stein, beautiful man, um, Shredder, and so he jumped across and made the bridge, which is sick. So we have everyone in our team represented here, which is like the best for us, the worst for everyone else. Um, because now we can, you know, we've never raced against these people. Um, they don't know how we work. They don't know the things that, you know, I can do. Actually, maybe they do. I guess that's the problem with putting yourself out on the internet so much is people know that, you know, you can, you got to kick. So, um, this is actually really funny. Wait, hold on. Watch this. There's this kid. I don't know who he was. He crashed himself out twice by himself. Look at him. Flipped upside down like a turtle. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, man. It's like, I usually don't make fun of people that crash, like, but it happened twice in a small breakaway. And then the big issue was he kept getting back in without going to the pit, and his bike was like, <laughs> like, just obviously, it's like, yo, pull yourself out, man. I think I yelled, it's like, if you sprint, I'll kill you, because, you know, he was essentially just, like, jumping back in whenever he wanted, and broken-ass bike, and, you know, someone who takes himself out in a crit in a small breakaway should not be riding a bike um you know just you know hot take um so they actually have to catch back up um which was kind of annoying for them because they were right behind that but we did it also I, I couldn't find i think it was dark when we caught the field so it was a little hard to figure out but we ended up lapping the field um so i think there's like maybe 10 12 riders in the breakaway and I think we were the only ones with, like, yeah, we were the only ones with the team. Even though their handicap rider didn't get there, which I was confused about. But, you know, what you gonna do? Um, so Stefan goes off the front again. He's really just trying to draw everybody out. Um, and ultimately, you know, it works. You know, trying to exhaust everybody as much as we possibly can. Um, so, they're gonna go just whipping around so fast um and we get caught though um you know they were obviously knew that wasn't a good tactic to not do that but you know we forced some of the riders to chase so um and now i'm right there eagerly anticipating um you know what's obviously going to come down to a field sprint what's odd is like there are very few attacks by other people like usually if you have like i don't know oh here we go they call my name out saying I'm a new homeowner. I bought my house a year ago, um, but you know, I guess it's it's fun to just you know be an idiot. Someone told them that I recently bought a house, um, but yeah. So um, yeah, there were no attacks. There was like no one attacked over top of us like consistently. Like I don't know. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but here we are. We're kind of lining it up a little bit, and I'm like, yo, should we just like go for it? It's like three to go. Um, damn right no oh, four to go and yeah no one was at the front so we were all over it constantly sending a rider with everyone that tried to go off even though there was only like two attempts it's, you know whatever but now we're going into i think this will be like last lap coming up um so unfortunately there was like a lot of kids from the field we lapped like still kind of like mixing it up i'm like who are you guys why are you here um and Stefan starts getting a little gap, and I'm screaming, go, Stefan. Because it's like that much at the end of a race is totally doable if he just goes for it. So we'll watch my power. I'll just kind of like, I'm sitting up basically, and like everyone's freaking out. And it's just, you know. There we go. Yeah, one to go. Um, decent crowd, a lot of masks, you know. Everyone was trying to do that as much as they could. Some weren't, but you know. That's what happens in America. Um, oh man. <sighs> Here it goes though. Okay, so Stefan's still going and um, we're gonna hit the train tracks and I'm like, yo, he's gonna do this. I'm not even gonna, I'll field sprint. You know, be one, two would be sick. But then a kid, I forget, it's not upland cycling, but someone pretty strong, he came up and I know as soon as we catch Stefan, something's gonna have to happen and uh, we'll see what happens right fucking here. So, you know, there is an attack. Colin Fitzgerald, who was the kid that crashed me out of Gateway Cup, where I tore my asshole open uh, on the pavement, went, but I jumped right on his wheel. And this is perfect. It's two corners to go. So that's, we have one more corner to go. 
Um, there was a crash back there that took out Zach, and I'm like right on his wheel. So I go into that last turn. Um, it's almost there. You can see the little dot swirling around. And I'm just gonna jump him as soon as I get there. It's about 200 meters, and boom, there we go, 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 there we go. Yeah, it's like 1,878 watts or something like that. Um, I hit a second stage, and put my arms up so I can see, but yeah. Technically hit 40 miles an hour, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, and we won, so that was pretty sick. Um, yeah, I mean, the adrenaline from this was pretty awesome. Um, I really miss that. It's like pretty amazing You're what Night Crits can do. Here's actually a super fan that filmed the finish. Here it is. That's pretty good social distancing right there, don't you think? That was easy, like 12 feet. I'm doubling what you guys require. Um, he's so excited. Look at him. Love him. Um, yeah, so that was super fun. Um, too bad there's no more racing for the rest of the year. Most likely there might be like one or two crits here and there, but it's like pointless to maintain fitness for. Um, but yeah, super cool. Also really glad that Phil Guyman kind of called me out with uh, traveling to races and shit. Um, get off your high horse. Fuck you.